Well, folks, it's Christmas. <laughs> yeah, it's Christmas morning. And I'm just out here feeding the babies. Last night I heard a ruckus. And now I know why. One of my new little chicks, um, I guess, didn't get, get put up. And something, something got her. Look down here. Um... There's feathers all throughout here. So, I am going to have to do a sweep and find out why. And it's got to be always the one that I am really in love with. <laughs> I really, really love the look of that chick. <sighs> And this was, unfortunately, one of them that I got from, um, um, Holly. So, I don't know. It's really frustrating. But, these are, these are two, three, that I got from Holly. I think there was only four of those chicks. So, all these three are still here. I can't remember how many more there was. But they're still here, and the one that I thought was the prettiest, which was like a, <clears throat> it was like a, uh, uh, silvery gray color, um, it's gone. But anyways, uh, while I was canning the other day, I tried to video... And I don't know if I brought you back to see this or not. But part of my video on that camning video that got uh, destroyed, it wouldn't go through, was this beautiful stock. Now, it was much smaller uh, that day. There was only like one or two racks that were out. And it is is very quickly popping out to have some beautiful rack. Now we've gotten a lot of wind and it is leaning, leaning, leaning. So I have got to find a way to keep that from coming down on my quail cages. So when David gets here later today, I've got to go get him. <laughs> Um, I'm going to have a talk with him about that, but looky, my, uh, my Mexican sunflowers are blooming again. I just checked on my bees. They're still out and moving around. It is, um, about 45 degrees here right now. Got down into the thirties last night and, uh, um, one of those crazy nights and something is back out here uh, bothering my chicks now it could be and I don't see him now because I let the dog out for a while it could be the hawk that's been flying around here but that hawk would have had to get inside that uh, that um, shed there and get that so I don't know what it was it, we've had possums before I don't know what it is but <clears throat> whatever it is the dog really wanted to get through there so he's tore out a whole bunch of stuff again I've got to find a way to keep her from getting through underneath there but um, yeah Kind of crazy. Um, I don't know. It didn't get cold enough to harm my my tomato plants, though, which amazes me. How beautiful that is! Let's go in here. I'm gonna go back to the garden and see if my fig tree still got a fig on it.
It's only, it only gives me one little lonely fig at a time. And I don't see it right offhand. It was right here. So, yep, it's dried up. I don't know why that happened, but oh well. Maybe it's because it's not the time of the year for it to fruit. So I've got to clean up this mess again. I've always got a lot of cleanup, but look at these greens. I am going to be cooking me some greens. Look at these mustard greens. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, Charlotte. Oh, there's more than just Charlotte. Y'all little stink pots. Get your butt out of here. <laughs> they know they ain't supposed to be in here. And something's going on with the gate. Look here. I'm going to fix that. I don't know why that's rusting out like that so quickly. But don't everything look delicious? And go figure. Here it is cold and it's bolting. And I can't wait. I'm still going to eat this one little beet right there. Tomatoes are growing. Oh. I got me a tomato I need to take off here. Take it into the house. Bok choy is looking good down here. Get that tomato off of there. Put it over on top of the ginger. <laughs> and that's mustard greens red mustards. I hope, I hope, I hope I get to taste some of these. They're kind of wilty looking. And I think that's from the cold last night, but they'll get better. I, I really wanted to make some hoops for these so that when it does get colder, I could, uh, I could put them in. And then I thought, well, maybe I shouldn't because let's face it. Florida is bipolar. Yeah, our weather is bipolar. One minute it is uh, crazy cold, and the next minute it is crazy hot. We can't ever figure out what it's going to do. So, <clears throat> yep. And look at these beautiful little mustards. Oh, oh, and I got collard green. <laughs> Y'all know I'm excited about that. I don't know why my collars just never did anything this year. They never, never did, but I got one there and it'll get big. It'll definitely get big. <clears throat> So, and these mustards, I'll just trim them back and they'll keep on growing. I do that with the uh, collard green too. <clears throat> I'll fix that right there. <sighs> but look at these mustards. I don't think David's ever had mustard greens. Um, so I'm going to bring him out. He hasn't even seen these. I can't wait to show him. I mean, those have gotten twice the size in just a few days. And I, when I was a kid, my grandmother used to mix mustards and turnips greens together. And I've got mustard and turnip. So I'm going to mix those together and cook them for him and see how he likes those. <laughs> that is so exciting. Yep, that's too woody. Yeah, I'm going to pull out these, uh, these, um, what do you call them? Um, uh, okras. 
because they are spent. I doubt they'll do anything else. Now I could cut this one back down to here and let it bush out. I know I might do that, but hey, I've got plenty of uh, um, I got plenty of uh, okra already put up, so might as well just pull these up and plant something in here. I'm not sure what I'll plant. Um, got plenty of tomatoes growing, so I might try some more collards up down through there. That would be a good idea. I grow those, and um, literally, I um, do much better on those than I do any else, anything else. Usually, those are my favorite thing to grow, but for some reason this year, it has been a pain in the butt. Sorry for the shaking, guys. I get a, I get into a, I get into a frenzy. I start pulling things. Oh, and, oh, oh, oh! And looky here. Perfect. I think these are, um, uh, Brussels sprouts. So I will place these in here. Pull these up and uh, place them in there so that they'll get better stuff. This might be a turnip. I think that's a, a purple top turnip. <laughs> but uh, I'll just let those grow in there and spread the love. So this will be totally different. Um, but man, look at these turnips. I love this. Or are these, I'm pretty sure these are turnip greens. Or are these, these, these might be um, radishes. Let's look down at the base. Yep, these are radishes. Oh, look at how beautiful. I'm pretty sure you can, you can eat the radish greens too, so. Yep. I'll harvest some of those even though, well, that looks like turnip. I don't know. Probably a mixture of something. You know how I am with seeds. If it doesn't come up when I think it should, I put some more down. <sighs> and I pull things. I should probably pull that. It looks like a weed, but I need to make it stay until I figure out if it's a weed or not. These are radishes that aren't doing as well. So, I don't know. My poor little jalapenos look terrible. I probably need to put a bag or something over them so they'll stay warm. And this, this stupid weed, I hate it. That's the ones that I pull out all the time. They always find their way to my garden. Go figure, all the babies are in the in the uh, food bowl. Really saddens me that I lost that chick. But that stuff happens, I guess. <laughs> They're happy-go-lucky, so anyways, from my homestead to yours, or from me to you, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I know I'll see you before the New Year, and I hope that you all find love in your heart, 
And I hope that um, if you don't know the reason for Christmas and you haven't found Christ, I hope and pray that somebody tells you about the one true meaning for our Christmas is Jesus Christ. He is the reason for this season. And I hope you find him and enter him into your heart and have faith that he's going to take you to heaven when you die because that is the only way to get there. And what a sacrifice and a sacrifice that we get to celebrate the life of our beautiful Savior every single year because we live in a a, a country that we're allowed to um, we're allowed to celebrate Christ and I pray that if you don't live in a country that you find a way to learn about Christ and I thank you for visiting my channel and I'll see you next time here on Living Miracle Homestead. Bye now.